Hi guys, this is Madhubat John from MJC Designs. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at how to create different VLA material, such as stainless steel, gold, frosted glass, clear glass, and high reflective glass. By the end of this video, we should be able to learn how to create these materials. Now, if you're new here, please kindly subscribe to our channel so you don't miss videos like this. Now, let's get started. So, we're going to give them different effect so let's start with stainless stainless steel okay go ahead and pick pick it right there have it in mind that it is actually in v, v this is v ray material right here so this is 3D Max V-Ray material. We're using V-Ray material. V-Ray render plugin to V-Ray plugin to render. So when you pick, you see V-Ray material. Or if you pick your whatever, let's say you're using Revit, and you pick the object which we want to change to stainless stainless steel all you do is for instance okay everything has been changed to very material all right but for instance you pick you pick your object you want to change to stainless so all you do is go go down here click here it will take you to the material slash slash map browser so it will take you here so you go ahead and look for V-Ray material under V-Ray. Here, here we have V-Ray material. Just click V-Ray material so that you can, you'll be able to work with it. Okay. So that said, go ahead and start and create the effect you want on your material. For instance, we are going to build you're looking at stainless steel so let's leave this color like this so everything shares the same the same materials we're just going to work with just going to work with this assign material Bear it in mind that we everything right here is in very already. So just in case, just in case you picked your object newly, just go here and, and you know change it to very material. That's it. So let's go to diffuse. Diffuse. Change the color a bit. Okay. Then we increase the reflection. The whiter it is, the, the more reflective it is. The whiter it is, the more reflective it is. So let's leave it as white. And then let's leave... We're going to leave the glossiness as... 0 point, 0 0.86. And then... What we'll do next is... We're going to... Increase this to a 0 0.6. Now this is the meltiness for this. This right here is a new. Uh, it's I think this is. You see this for vireness. If you're using vireness, you see it. But if you're not using vireness, don't worry. Don't worry about looking for something like. Don't worry about looking for this. This right here for the glossiness and um, also work for. It. So all you need to do is your friends are turn it on and then increase it to maybe 20, 24. Okay, increase it to 24. And you can also go ahead and increase the subdivision to maybe 24 or 32. So the higher the subdivision, the smoother it is, you, would, you won't see noise and your system has to be very good when you 
so that it will be able to render because the, the higher it is the slower the render the the more the rendering time render time rather so this is it coming out nicely now we have our stainless steel as you can see it looks nice we have our stainless steel right here okay and make sure for instance if it is not reflecting make sure you just come here and, and click this trace reflection like for instance if this is not ticked this is not checked it's not checked i'm going to render again and you see the difference if it is not checked you see it won't it won't trace the reflection in the environment as you can see so it's, it's not tracing a very good amount of reflection so you see the difference right so when you check this it will trace the reflection the whatever is in the environment okay we are good with that so let's go ahead and work with gold and work on gold rather so just pick any of this and then okay assign it to this just by clicking this right here assign okay so just pick the material we want to change the board and then put it to black increase the reflection okay and then change this to 0 0.99 or 0 0.98 same thing you do here turn on the fender it to 24 and the metal metalness is to 8.6 okay now for good we're going to change the, the reflection color to something like this let's see how it looks like We are going to turn on the reflect uh, the trace reflection, okay? As you can see, it looks fine. All right, this is good. This is good. So you can increase your subdivision just to make it fine now. You need to reduce the noise, all right? So let's go ahead and do full state glass full state glass okay let's assign material to this this is what we want to change that full state glass and just assign material to it then you click whatever you want to change to full state glass then you go ahead and change it to black then we increase the reflection a bit frosted glass does not really reflect so we just increase the reflection a bit okay so we change this to 0 0.86 reflection sends the reflection then increase your refraction or 
don't 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 take it down to the white part just a bit closer to the white part and then you go to your form color and then you you might want to give it a little bit of uh, you know color but we will have to render this and see while at it in your refraction changes to 0 0.0.8 0 0.9 0 there about but let's see what 0 0.9 gives us So as you can see, this is full state glass. You can also reduce it to 0 0.86. Okay. So this is full state glass. It's not reflective. It's not reflective. It's not transparent it is just there you can see so this is what full step class looks like okay so you can play you can play with the the reflection by reducing it a bit if you think it's too reflective okay and for the fog color you might want to you might want to you know give your footed your, your frosted glass a little bit of um, shade so you just come over and give it some calm you know color but make sure it's close to the you know close to the white part let's end and see the effect to reduce the effect a bit by reducing this fog multiplier to 0 0.5 see what it gives us looking nice you can still go ahead and reduce it a bit to what suits you what looks nice in your eyes So I think this is fine. I think this is fine. So let's check, let's look at this. The next one will be glass, clear glass. Okay, clear glass, so let's assign it material taking the box taking the box and you pick so we want to do clear glass so go ahead and you know for clear glass it doesn't really reflect you know so we are we are not going to increase the reflection too much so we're just going to keep it like this Let's see Greatly soft. Then make the glossiness one and check this. You can also increase the subdivision and then you increase the, the refraction. Okay, the refraction is the transparency of the glass. So I go ahead and turn on and turn on reflection, then you change this to as you can see our clear glass reflects but it's not reflecting too much and it's also transparent so this is what our clear glass looks like okay 
you can see the settings as you can see so that's what our clear glass looks like we're going to also do a reflective glass like a much more high reflective glass that's for clear glass and we're going to do a high reflective glass there are some glasses that are very very reflective not totally clear you get small like a mirror it looks like it looks more like a mirror but not mirror so it's highly reflective so we're going to do that right now We keep it somewhere here. Make sure it is one. Turn off this. Okay. And increase our refraction. Then go ahead and turn on the. Okay, it is. It is. It is. It's on already. So change this. We are with the F to form and then let's see what it gives us. As you can see the difference. You can see the difference. This is more reflective. As you can see it's reflecting the windows, you know, is is tracing the reflection on the windows and the wall. But this is this is not really Tracing, it re tracing, but not as much as you know a, a reflective glass. So if you're good with the settings, you can just leave it like that. But if you're not so satisfied with it, we can go ahead and you know increase our reflection a bit. Okay, but don't make sure you don't increase it totally. So increase our reflection a bit. So I think that's fine. I think that is fine. Now this draws this draws us to the end of this tutorial. At least with all we have learned so far, we can establish we can we should we should be able to create a proper stainless, proper gold, proper first glass, frosted glass, a proper clear glass, and a proper high reflective glass. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share. Comment in the comment section below. And if you're new here, please, please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss something like this. I'm Madhubad John from MJC Designs. Bye bye.